uh, plenty to see here at the auto show, and that's just in 10 feet square as you're walking around. But we want to take a little drive west, about 30 miles from where we're standing out to Northville, where there's plenty to see at a place called the Garage Grill and Fuel Bar. If you love cars, there's a lot of history there. They've made this restaurant a destination with a unique theme, and it also has delicious food. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines and cruise on over to the Garage Grill and Fuel Bar. It's just satisfying when people walk in the door before they even have anything to eat, before they do anything, and they just look around and just go crazy about the restaurant, the way it looks. It's the garage feel, but yet it's, you know, upscale, so it's really cool. It's kind of Detroit, you know, it's automotive related, so it's, uh, it's unique and interesting and historical as well. You could say Bill and Mark Ivasic, two of the owners, have motor oil running through their veins. My grandparents started a manufacturing company in 1942, and it's called Master Automatic, and we do precision machining. So the theme of the garage was perfect for us. The restaurant is in a 1940 old uh, historic gas station. And uh, the really neat thing about that is our family business that my grandfather started back in 42 was started in an old gas station that was built in the same era as this one. And as you probably already noticed, they put a lot of detail into the theme. Some of the things that we put in are uh, uh, a light that my, my father actually designed and built that you can see in the bar area. It's actually a tire light. What makes it pretty cool is it's actually from his Model A car. So the, the wheel is the center of the light and the lights around the outside of it are the headlights from a Model A. Also, if you look at the booths, it has a lot of names on the bat patches, which kind of represent the old era of the service station, when the service station men all had the, uh, their names on their shirts. And uh, all those names that are on there are actually uh, the owner's uh, kids and grandkids. Even when you pull on the handle of the front door, it's, a, it's an old wrench from a Model A car, uh, all the way to the, to the back uh, Model A room, which is our banquet room, where we have a 1930 Model A fully restored back there. So, what kind of food do you serve at a garage? It's like an American bistro, even though it's a garage. This is the best perch you'll get anywhere in the state. I love the salmon salad. <laughs> it's upper scale food a little bit, but it's also a place that you feel comfortable at, and that's what we're, that's what we're the most happy about. I would recommend it, I have recommended it, just, you know, to my friends for just something new, something different. If you've never been to the garage, and uh, you come here, you won't be disappointed. So if you are a fan of automobiles and delectable meals, drive on over to the garage. The Avasics are a great family. They, they built this thing from the ground up, and it's really cool to see something like Vincetta Garage, right, that you go back. Right. You can really see the history of where this has progressed. So we should tell you the uh, garage grill and fuel bar Downtown Northville, 202 West Main Street. Uh, some girls here said they're going. Looks it's good. very, it's a very cool venue, and, and Northville is cool anyway. I mean, you know, you go to Northville, you make a whole day out of it, and you can stop yeah. by there and have a an adult beverage, a cocktail, and some main point theater. We got to throw them in. That's right. There. Hello, everybody. What's